Hi guys, my name is Ozzy and today I'm going to be doing a real verse fake comparison of the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement Retro OGs that came out on February 17, 2018. As you can see, on the right is the retail version, because you know, <laughs> the real is always right, the receipt is always right, you know what I'm saying? Foot action, $200, tax, $12, 6% tax in Maryland. And on the left is the fake, because when you go left, you go wrong, you know what I'm saying? So anywho, first thing that you notice on the shoes is that the hang tab right here, let me go ahead and zoom in. On the on the fake pair, the hang tab is red. And on the real pair, the hang tag is orange. So uh, that's already a big key right there. So let's go ahead and look at the box. The box sizes are nearly identical, but there's one big difference. As you can see, if you look on the right, the cover of the box doesn't cover up the size as much, but on the left side, it pretty much covers up the the most of the number 10 but on the right side the 5 is almost visible with the exception of the top so that's just like a big thing to look out for okay to make this comparison extremely accurate I went ahead and used two pairs that are both size 10 and a half as you can see so if you look closely the boxes look exactly the same at first glance but as you can I, if you aren't paying close attention the top on the box is slightly smaller it's not that much of a big difference and I wouldn't really use the box size as a way to tell if the shoes are fake because it's super easy to just give a person a replacement box that has no logo on it at all but this is just for people that are just like getting the box you want to just like have if someone is claiming that they sent you the original box these are things to look out for as you can see the information on the tab on the label is the exact same black fire red cement gray and then it has the, the little item code and the barcode on the left both of them are exactly the same the only thing is that on the fakes the print for the color label is thinner and not bold it's actually just like regular print but on the real pair the letters for the color label are bolded are bold so that's just a little thing to look out for all right so another thing to look out for is the bottom of the box as you can see on the top is real and the bottom is fake and the top box as you can see the jump the red jump man and the red air jordan wings logo is on the other side of the box where the side label is and so basically where the size label is at the Nike logo should be right here, but the red Jumpman and Red Wings logo is on the opposite side for the real, on the opposite side of the size label. But on the fakes, the Jumpman logo is on the side where the size information is at. So that's also a dead giveaway. So go ahead and use that as you will. Earlier in the video I mentioned that the real pair has a slightly smaller box and that's even more apparent on the real pair the size dimensions are different. They say 1HOF19 underscore LID 353 times 255 times 86. Those are the dimensions of the real box. But on the fake box the dimensions are larger even if it's not by much. It says 1HOF20 underscore lid 368 times 270 times 91 so this is 353 times the real pair is 353 times 255 times 85 times 86 and the fake pair it's 368 times 270 times 91 so that's the length and width times height by the way so yeah all right guys for so another dead giveaway to tell which one is real and which one is fake on the left pair which is the fake pair you can see that the elephant print is much more spaced out and on the right pair the elephant print is tightly packed together so go ahead and look at the spacing if you look closely on the left pair look at all the gaps then on the right pair it's closely together as you can see this is the re this is the reason why i use the same i use the left pair for the review for the comparison so that way it's easier to see the differences and sometimes when you're looking at it flipped it might confuse some people so I'm using two left pairs for side-by-side -side comparison. So remember, the left pair, which is the fake, 
has larger gaps in the elephant print. On the real pair, which is on the right, there are less gaps. They're more tightly packed together for the elephant print. So keep that in mind when you're buying the shoes online or from a place that isn't an official retailer like Foot Action, Finish Line, Shoe City, Champ Sports, etc., etc. So another quick way to tell which one is real and which one is fake is by looking at the, the production dates on the real and fake pairs. On the fake pair, the production date says June 7th, 2017 to September 6th, 2017. On the real pair, the production date says August 16th, 2017 to November 17, 2017. So the fake pair, they started producing it way earlier than they should have. And on the real pair, this is the actual date that they were in production in the factory. Once again, on the fake pair, they were produced from June 7th, 2017 to September 6th, 2017. While on the real pair, they started on August 16th, 2017 and ended the production on November 17th, 2017. So yeah. So I'm looking at the insoles for both pairs. They look identical where like, it's not even any different. They're literally the same insoles. So the insoles as a test won't really help you at all. Another way to differentiate the fake from the real is to look at the inserts, the, sh the sh little shoe trees. On the fake pair, you can see that the, the text, the numbers is much more defined and much more visible. They both have the same thing. This one, it says, it says OF-811 10.5.12, which is the size. And then on the real pair, you can you can barely see it. It's barely visible. Which is ironic. You would think that the real one would have more details on the shoe tree, but it's quite the opposite. It's barely it's barely visible. But on the fake insert, it's super visible. On the real pair, the shoe tree, the text is, is very hard to read. So yeah, just a little interesting thing for you guys to be on the lookout for. If you look at the soles of the shoes, the fake pair, which is on the left, the end is much larger than the real pair. The real pair, which is on the right, the end is a lot smaller. Let me go ahead and zoom in for a comparison. You look at the end, look at the bottom of the end, it's, it's much thicker, but on the right, the end is a lot thinner. So that's just a comparison. If you look at it from right here, you can see the difference. It's pretty obvious that the two ends are very different in size. And on the real pair, the letters are much closer together. Like they actually touch. But on the fake, you can see that there's space between the N, I, and K. The only letters that touch are the K and the E. But on the real pair, all the letters touch. As you can see right here. So that's just the way for you guys to tell for the soles. All right, so for the very last thing to tell which pair is real, which one is fake, we're gonna be using the UV light, as you can see. Uh, if you use the UV light, you can point it on the insole of the shoe on the right pair, which is the real pair. The size number is on the insole backwards. So when you take the insole out of the shoe, then you look on the inside where all the stitching is, the size number should be there. Both of these are a size 10 and a half. The real pair, it says the size number 10 and a half see that one zero point five and don't forget also they have the size backwards but on the fake pair there's literally no letters no numbers no anything they just left it blank so remember the real pair the size number is on the insole backwards and on the fake it has no numbers whatsoever so yeah by the way you can get like a UV light from eBay or Amazon for like four to five dollars it's very good for spotting out uh, key differences in real versus fake shoes because they're always using slightly different materials. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this real versus fake comparison. I'll be doing more of these in the future. So uh, go ahead and press the like button, press the subscribe button, and tap the notification bell next to my channel name to be notified when I upload a new video. And uh, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll do more real versus fake comparisons on any shoe that you guys want. All you guys have to do is just comment down below what shoes you want to see me compare next for a more detailed comparison so that way you guys don't get scammed. 
So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this real first fake comparison. I'm out. Peace.